So now back in our submit method, after if this initial validation condition, we're going to type this fields array equals this form object dot serialize array, which is the jQuery function. Now we go for jQuery dot post method. We go into call mod validate dot php file. We're going to pass uh, our array and then we go for the function on callback with the data. After the semi closing semicolon, we need to define what format we want the response to be received in and we're going to go for JSON format. Then semicolon right at the end. Now before, uh, before we move any further, uh, to create obviously this validate.php file. Let's actually finish this entire method. So we're gonna go for if is in data error, meaning if data index uh, error uh, is false basically, then object validation dot form object dot fade out, then 300 speed, 300 milliseconds function. Once it's faded out, then what we want to do is this replace with and we're going to replace this form with data message index so that's when obviously error equals false error index of the data array returned uh, else what we're going to do is object validation dot clear password because obviously we want this field to be cleared again, and then object validation dot validation display, and we're going to display data validation index, which will contain basically array of all uh, fields which which obviously cause any problems. Now validation display is a method we're going to be working on uh, in the next video. Uh, validate.php will follow right after. So let's move to the next video and work on this uh, validation display method.